All right, so we're back with the Packer Bell, and as you can see, I'm up in Windows 95. I did the right thing, and I grabbed a monitor that was a proper form factor. Let's uh, eject that, because that's not going to play on this. Um, what I need to do is find the Windows 98 CD. Um, YouTube user Madam Roy gave me an idea. And, uh, Oh, yeah, that was the one that didn't, that one didn't work. It might work under Windows 98. I just don't think it'll work under. So, what I need to do is find one of the, <laughs> I didn't mark any of these, so. Remember uh, those days where we were writing CDs all the time and only like a third of the time would we actually, uh, you know, mark them? That, that one should work. But anyway, so I was talking to Madam Roy, and he was saying that I didn't do F-Disk. He goes, yeah, it'll install on that partition, but it won't run right. You have to do an F-Disk under Windows 98. I'm like, wait a minute, you're absolutely right. I hope. <laughs> so... Like I said, I got a 4 gig compact flash card. I was going to get a 2 gig, but they were literally the same money as a 4 gig. Same brand, like it was like within a few cents of each other, like not even a full dollar. So here's a brand new verbatim, I think. Yeah, verbatim compact flash 4 gig. So... I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. I'm going to eat real quick while it starts to cool down in here. And then I'll do some stuff to set the computer up for that. And uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, so I just learned that the only way to get to the floppy drive is to remove the hard drive or the uh, motherboard tray. I don't feel like doing that, so right now my GoTech is up here. And uh, I have the CD out of the drive. It's on the right floppy image, I hope. This will literally be my first time using it, so. I'll go into F2 just to make sure that it's set up to go A then C, alright. And I also have the the new compact flash put in. So we'll see what happens here. That looks much better. It's not all cut off the side like it was on the other monitor. light on on that because the floppy drive on this computer is just so slow and it seems like the whole interface is pretty slow I mean I feel like it's it can't be too fast anyway I mean I'm using a what do we call it? Use a USB to flop or a flash drive anyway, but I don't think it will ever exceed that anyway. So what do you what do we think? Do we think my next uh, venture will be uh, rebuilding the 486 again? Oh man.
You know what I may try doing is uh, is um, redoing the Windows 95 over floppy drive or over floppy disks using the GoTech because uh, last time I tried that it was bad. <coughs> All right, so we're going to You know, at my old job to go back on everything was F1. So I find myself I often find myself um hitting F1 and I just did it again to go back rather than escape because I did almost five years working with that company and F1 was back <clears throat> So then we're going to go ahead and format. Now this won't take as long because it's a, uh, a flash drive. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I was like, why is it flashing the hard drive light? But it was probably looking for the CD-ROM on both uh, device or on both interfaces. I do have it on um, IDE 1 and 2. Preparing to start my computer. I want to do as much of this on camera because I want to find out if we're right on this or not. I mean, it's funny because like 20 years ago, I was doing this nearly every day. And, you know, today I can, I tend to forget this stuff. Wow, that is fast. Oh, excuse me. Help me. Alright, so now we will take the floppy out. Put the CD in because apparently it works that way. We'll reboot. And this shouldn't be too bad. And it's uh, it's 11, it's only like 11 o'clock and it is already kind of fine. Usually it's, um, I think it showed me the wrong, and it's 87 degrees. At one point it said 93 on my uh, thing on my dash. Boot from CD-ROM. Why is my keyboard not working? Um, that's weird. It literally just worked. The only thing I don't like, I, I think it's a problem with the, I don't know if it's with the Packard Bell, with the Sound Blaster, or these speakers. But, it uh it'll pop when you turn them on i don't know if you heard that or not
There we go. I don't know why the uh, hard drive wasn't working or the. Uh... <clears throat> why the. Um... Or why the keyboard stopped working. That was just weird. I want second edition. Oh, excuse me. I really need to bring my uh, LED lights in here. This goes much faster on a uh, compact flash drive than it does on a spinning rust. So. <clears throat> I don't know why it needs to have dot .wave files. I saw something about Prodigy Internet. Actually, I, know, I think I know what it's doing, and yeah, it would need that, because it's all, <clears throat> all part of the install. But as long as this does not give me <clears throat> any errors, we'll be good. What I'm going to do is once we're actually installing, I'm going to speed up the footage. I'm going to keep recording. You'll probably see me eating in that as well because I ate a little bit just to calm the shakes and... <clears throat> I figured once it was actually installed, then I would actually, you know, finish my meal. But yeah, I'm going to let it record all the way from... from beginning to end, from uh, setup to desktop. All right. Alright, so I'm going to take a break from the uh, sped up footage to <clears throat> go in here and go and like... So I'm doing some research. I have a computer in my truck now that I want to do a video on. And it's a, uh, it's a Dell Optiplex, but it's an all SCSI system. And... Uh, I, I tried using an IDE hard drive or, or IDE CD-ROM on the motherboard and I couldn't get that to work but man these SCSI CD-ROMs I mean 
you know, you're looking at 50 bucks for a, for a CD-ROM. Like this one's a Nakamichi 5 disc CD changer interface. I don't need that. But then there's also just the standard Toshiba for 50 bucks as well. I think I'm going to have to, and then this one is uh, just a regular Panasonic, it's 15 bucks. Oh, it, it's a place bid, so Lord knows what it's going to come up to. And I might need to see if I can find something that has a SCSI CD-ROM in it. Or figure out what I'm doing wrong with the uh, with a regular IDE CD-ROM. But, back to sped up footage.
so I am a little concerned that it's been sitting here at seven minutes for quite a while. Uh, I mean, it was at seven minutes before I started this YouTube video here. And I'm at five minutes in on that. And it hasn't moved. I don't think. But the hard drive light's still going. Everything is, it's not locked up. So I'm just going to let it keep going and find out what's... Oh, yeah, it just moved some. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's find out if we were correct on this assumption. Um, I, I started this up from, you know, the boot, where it boots up from the CD. It is normal usually for Windows 98 to flash. I gotta get permission from <laughs> Madam Roy to use his name in my, in my title, but I kinda, you'll know whether I did or not based on the title of the video. All right, I'm not liking this so far. I mean, this is the first boot. I tried to do things where you got to see everything. All right, we'll give it a minute. Keyboard is not reacting. Oh man, please tell me I didn't just waste an hour of my time. <laughs> It hasn't given me the Windows protection error yet. So that is remotely promising. But I am a little worried at this point. I'll give it about another minute and then I'll do a reset on it. Oh yeah, if you heard the speakers pop, I went and turned off a fan over there. Because the last time I was in here, I discovered that it was blowing warm air this direction, making it worse over here. So... Alright, let's try normal. If it goes back to that other screen, I'm just going to speed up the footage again while watching my YouTube video. Yeah, 
Here we go. I was worried over nothing. All right, so we're going to set up some unknown devices. Set up an unknown monitor. I think this monitor is way no... Well, yeah, this monitor would be way newer than Windows 98. There's a lovely sound. Everybody loves that sound. Alright, we're getting close. I think Madam Roy was correct. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And even though I told it no online services, we have uh, that there. I'll let it load before I try to mess with stuff. I hope I don't get a, a copyright strike for that. Now Windows 98 does support the scroll the scroll wheel. Which is good. Alright, so what can we do here? I don't have much on my GoTech. That one was WinZip. I like this GoTech already. This is my first time using it. That's the, uh, the driver I can't use right now. Uh, apparently that's all I put on there. So let's see here. <coughs> Anything. I didn't mean to exit out of that. Channel screen saver. I wish I could. Uh, <laughs> Dangerous creatures. I didn't know I had that one on here. We'll use dangerous creatures. I'm not going to do anything with that. Oh man. 
So that's 800 by 600. That looks so much better. Do I have anything in here that's not... So let's, uh... Let's do a restart. And uh, see if it'll actually boot properly. Kind of want to... Oh, crap. Yeah, it's going to try to boot from the GoTech and there's not a proper boot disc in that. So I guess this must be what Arizona people are talking about. It's 87.8 in here, but the humidity is 47%, so it doesn't feel terrible. Now, there's a couple things I want to try to do with this computer. But I think... That there's other... Uh, other things I want to do before I do that. Um... I want to send this to Madam Roy, let him know he was right. That might be my, uh, my thumbnail, I don't know. But yeah, so we have Windows 98 up and running. So let me know in the doobly-doo down below what you might want to see me do with this computer. I have a really cool device I want to try. It's actually a graphics card. But I don't know if I'll be able to or not. So, I think for right now, I'm just going to call this a video because it's going to go on long enough. And, um... No shut down that sound? So, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.